I have three word problems here. What I want to do in, in this video is not solve the word problems, but just set up the equation that we could solve to get the answer to the word problems. And essentially, we're going to be setting up proportions in either case. So in this first problem, we have nine markers cost $11.50. And then they ask us, how much would seven markers cost? And let's just set x to be equal to our answer. So x is equal to the cost of seven markers. The cost of seven markers. So the way to solve a problem like this is to set up two ratios and then set them equal to each other. So you could say that the ratio of nine markers to the cost of nine markers, so the ratio of the number of markers, so nine to the cost of the nine markers to 11.50, 11.50, this should be equal to the ratio of our new number of markers, 7, equal to the new number of markers, so that's 7, to whatever the new cost or whatever the cost of 7 markers are, to x. So let me do x in green, to, to x. So this is a completely valid proportion here. The ratio of, of, the, of 9 markers to the cost of 9 markers is equal to 7 markers to the cost of 7 markers. And then you could solve this to figure out how much those 7 markers would cost. And you could flip both sides of this, and it would still be a completely valid ratio. You could have 1150, 1150 to 9. So the ratio between the cost of 9 mark, the, the, the ratio between the cost of the markers to the number of markers you're buying is equal to, so 1150 to 9 is equal to, the cost of seven markers is equal to seven markers, is, a, is equal to the ratio of the cost of seven markers to the number of markers, which is obviously seven. So all I did is flip both sides of this equation right here to get this one over here. You could also think about, you could also think about the ratios in other ways. You could say that the ratio, the ratio of nine markers to seven markers, the ratio of nine markers to seven markers is going to be the same as the ratio of their cost. Is going to be the ratio is going to be equal to the ratio of the cost of nine markers to the cost of seven markers. And then obviously you could ob flip both of these sides. So you could say that the ratio of seven markers, do that in the same magenta color. The ratio of seven markers to nine markers is the same thing as the ratio of the cost of seven markers to the cost of nine markers. So that is 1150. So all of these would be valid proportions, valid equations that describe what's going on here. And then you could you would just have to essentially solve for x. So let's do this one right over here. Seven apples cost five dollars. How many apples can I buy with eight dollars? So once again, we can say so. We're going to assume that what they're asking is, you know, how many apples? How many apples? Let's call that x. X is what we want to solve for. So seven apples cost five dollars. So we have the ratio between the number of apples, seven, and the cost of the apples, five, is going to be equal to is going to be equal to the ratio between another number of apples, which is now x, which is now x and the cost of that other number of apples. And it's going to be $8. And so notice here, in this first situation, what was unknown was the cost. So we kind of had the number of apples to cost, number of apples to cost. Now in this example, the, the unknown is the number of apples. So number of apples to cost, number of apples to cost. And we could do all of the different scenarios like this. You could also say the ratio between the ratio between seven apples and x apples is going to be the same as the ratio between the cost of the cost of seven apples and the cost of eight apples, and and obviously you can flip both sides of these to, in either of these equations to get two more equations, and any of these would be valid would be valid equations. Now let's do this last one. So we have a cake recipe for five people. I'll use new colors here. A cake recipe for five people requires two eggs. It requires two eggs. How many eggs? So we want to know how many eggs. So this we'll call x. And you don't always have to call it x. You could call it e for a. Well, e isn't a good idea because e represents another number once you get to higher mathematics. But you could call them, you could call them y or z or any variable, a, b, or c, anything. How many eggs do we need for a 15-person cake? How many eggs do we need for a 15-person cake? So you could say the ratio of people to eggs so the ratio of people to eggs is constant. So if we have five people for two eggs, 
for two eggs, then for 15 people, then for 15 people, we are going to need x eggs. This ratio is going to be constant. 5 over 2 is equal to 15 over x. Or you could flip both sides of this. Or you could say the ratio between 5 and 15, the ratio between 5 and 15 is going to be equal to the ratio between the number of eggs for five people. Let me do that in that blue color. The ratio between the number of eggs for five people and the ratio of the and and the number of eggs for fifteen people. And obviously you could flip both sides of this equation. So all of these, we've essentially set up the proportions that describe each of these each of these problems. And then you can go later and, and solve for x to actually get the answer.